Hey viewers, my money gamer here and welcome back to Let's Play Donkey Kong Country 2 Diddy's Conquest. <laughs> anyway, um Damn it, I was actually gonna look something up, but I forgot what it was. <laughs> anyway though, um Might as well have some fun and um Get some information about this game. So, this game came out in uh, 1995, and um, the uh, cool thing is that um, I now know the characters' names. It's Diddy and Dixie, so that's what it is. I was getting my names mixed up with uh, Diddy Kong Racing. <laughs> Anyway, though, um, so this game originally came out on the Super Nintendo, but it also had a re-release on the um, Game Boy Advance. Uh, I've never actually played the Game Boy Advance version. I have played the Game Boy Advance version of uh, Donkey Kong Country 1, I think I told you about that, and I didn't like it compared to the original. I don't know, they just seem to want to add more to it and make it more difficult than the last one and so they forced you to like collect Kong and all that and like find all the exits to get 100% instead of just doing all the like all the secrets you know to get 100% or I guess it was 101% or something like that some bullshit <laughs> anyway um, let's see what else can I tell you about the about the game here um, this game, like I said, I used to play a lot when I was a kid. Um, I did hit a button this time, thankfully I didn't mess anything up. Um, <laughs> and I think this was, if this is the level I think it is, no, okay. There's a level coming up that actually used to uh, terrify me when I first played this game. And you're gonna love it when I uh, explain that story, but this one's not it. Oh, shit. Unlike most challenges, though, I think you can just try again. Yeah, later challenges in this game, you can't try again, so don't fuck up like I just did there. At least it doesn't cause you much trouble if you do. There we go. If you have a Dixie, that's a lot easier. Ooh, I missed. Okay, I get to do this the fun way. It's a little harder, though. Yeah. Didn't expect that I would get it. Oh, well. I'll just have to come back for it later. You actually do have to go up there because there is an important item up there for you. The DK coin. Yeah, like I said before, it can be right out in the open sometimes. Most of the time it's not. And sometimes it can be right at the frickin' start of the level in, like, a really unfair place. So, yeah, anyway. To get it, you kinda have to do that. There we go. Yeah, you should remember these bastards from the last game. Oh yeah, these, uh treasure chests, as they're called, I believe. Um, they can only be opened by hitting against an enemy, so if there's no enemies on the screen and you uh, need to open it, you're screwed. You can't open it. Oops. Hold on. Okay, you can only get up here if you have your partner, so use your partner to get up here. Take your time. There you go. Other than that, there's really nothing up there, but I wanted to show that off at least. There you go. Checkpoint. Scratch my nose. Yeah, I know, gamer problems. Uh, this guy up here, he can actually only be defeated by barrels in this game. You can't even jump on him with either of your Kongs. It won't work. So you gotta do... 
that little number right there. <laughs> yeah, I remember back in Donkey Kong Country 1, you could actually open, like, you know, you could, like, beat the crap out of these enemies if you, um, had DK in your party, but since you no longer have DK, these guys just go on being burly and impossible to kill. So, there you go. <laughs> This is an invincibility barrel. Um, basically, you're going to use it to get to a challenge up here. Oh well. Oh, uh, hold on. This was another challenge that I could finish like in seconds, but that time I, I messed up a little bit. <laughs> there you go. Also, you may have noticed, every time you defeat an enemy on one of these levels, they will actually fall into the background and into the water. Or like the foreground and into the water. It's kind of an interesting little thing. Here's our save point. Kong College. Hello dearies, I'm Miss Winky Kong, headmistress here at Kong College. I'm available to teach courses on how to play this game, or you can just pop in when you want to save your little old game. Now then, how can I help you? Okay, now remember how I said saving the game costs money. Not for the first time you come into a new area. In most cases, it's free the first time. However, I'll show you. Hit save game, and it shows you your save progress, right? We're only 8% through the, like, you know, 8% 8, 8 through the entire game. <laughs> so, that should tell a lot. But now, it's two coins. Yes, it'll be two coins from now on. So, keep that in mind. A gold coin with a bunch of bananas on it. Collect these and spend them in the various Kong family locations found throughout the island. Okay. You may have noticed that I'm not hitting A because sometimes if you hit A too many times it will do it again and if it ends up costing money the next time that can suck. Pressing the B button to swim, pressing up and down on the directional keypad while swimming or floating will affect the speed that you sink or swim. Yeah, same thing as before in the last game. But I must say I love some of the underwater themes in this game. Yeah, this game is known for having some pretty awesome soundtracks as well. Okay, here's the end of level target which we've been showing off a little bit. Jump on the target to finish the level. If you jump from a sufficient height, you will win the displayed prize. So basically that's all. Uh, this will tell you about Rambi's Supercharge. Rambi's Supercharge I've already showed you. Just hold down the A button. Character team up, hit the A button, you'll jump on each other's shoulders. And the area guardian. Throw crow's eggs back at him. He won't like it. So yeah, that's the name of the end boss of this level. <laughs> and I love how if you look at the board, um, a lot of the equations on there are actually wrong. Like 9 divided by 3 equals 6, uh, 8 times 1 equals 9, when actually 8 times 1 is 8, and 4 plus 2 equals 5, when it actually equals um, 6. So that's funny. I, you notice I didn't answer the division question because honestly I don't know if I like, know the answer to that one really. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a funny little thing. Goodbye, dearies. Now, what's funny is if you come in there sometimes, she will actually say something about, like, the Kremlins, and she will say something along the lines of all the Kremlins want to learn how to do is, like, squash monkeys and stuff like that. It's kind of funny. Yeah, here it is. Lockjaw's Locker. Now, you know how I said that swimming levels don't usually bother me that much? This is one of them. But there was something I read in the book, like, I'm so sorry, I just bumped the mic twice trying to scratch my nose. Um, there's a, like, kind of semi-joke in the book, 
And it was saying something about the, like, you know, fact that the monkeys don't need to breathe, you know, so they can swim forever, right? Or something like that. But I misread it as a kid, because of course, uh, when you're a kid, you don't read very well. <laughs> and I read it as it saying, uh, if you stay underwater for too long, you'll drown. And so I freaked out in these levels and always thought like I was going to die when I was in the water. And I'll just show you an interesting thing in this level. <laughs> Chances are you won't get very many of those bananas, don't worry if you don't. Um, so in this level, you got a very interesting mechanic. If you come down here and touch this barrel, the water actually increases a little bit. Um, you know, that may not seem like a whole lot, but it will seem like a whole lot in a minute. So, so far, this level doesn't seem too threatening, right? This seems to be actually pretty cool, actually, right? Like, there doesn't seem to be anything at all dangerous about it. Well, um, let's see, where's the secret thing? It's like down here somewhere. Right here, yep. So you come down here, you touch those barrels, you swim your way up here, and suddenly everything is filled with water, right? <laughs> well, you remember how I said that it tells you, don't worry about drowning, right? Well, I totally misunderstood that, and was like, holy shit, the whole level's filled with water, what do I do now? And I looked at the animation of the monkeys, you know, like how her uh, mouth is like moving while she's underwater as if she's like breathing. Just a fun little thing. Another cool thing is you can actually come back over here and collect some of the bananas you missed, so yeah. I wanted to show that off. Don't come up here though, right where this area right here is, there's a warp barrel that'll take you all the way to the end of the level. I'll show it off later, but for now I don't want to show it because It'll take us to the end of the level, and that'd be kind of annoying. So, yeah, anyway. So anyway, we want to make our way carefully through here, even though I'm kind of speed running this a little bit. You actually swim a lot faster in this game than you did before. If you come up here, you notice that there's like an A thing and a, like, banana in front of that barrel. Well, oh, box, really. You can't get in there until <coughs> you find a certain special character. Watch out for this guy. There he is. Good ol' on guard. Thought I was gonna get the name wrong, didn't ya? <laughs> nah. This one I always remember, because he's probably one of my favorites. Find the token! This is a maze challenge, so keep that in mind. See if I can remember which way to go on the first try. Probably not. Basically, just don't follow the path of any bananas, and you'll uh, get there pretty quickly. I think it's down this way. Oops, no, I followed some bananas. Cool. I'm gonna fail right away. Oh, that's right. It's up, not down. I got stuck on the goddamn wall. That's hilarious. It's fucking Metal Gear Solid all over again. <laughs> In fact, a very funny thing is I was watching uh, Let's Play uh, this game in particular, not recently, it was a while ago, and the poor people were, um, you know, going through a challenge, and they're like, okay, we only have one we only have one chance to do this challenge, don't mess it up, and the person who was playing got so, uh, frazzled that she, like, jumped into, like, a thing that ended the challenge right away, and I was like, oh. There we go.
Actually, I will say this. The underwater music is a lot quieter in this game, so don't be too surprised if you can't hear it. It actually kind of has like a darker tone to it. This one that you want to do this? No, okay, that's for a later thing. There is another uh, on guard that you can get. He's hidden, so you gotta be very careful. Oh yeah, I love this. Like there's this part where you can like barely jump out of the water there. And I thought that was important, so I kept jumping there one time. Watch out for these guys, they're assholes. Okay, nothing there. Aha, here he is. Boom. Okay. Wait a minute. That camera is supposed to show you that you can come down here and get all these goodies. So yeah, unlike before, when there wasn't, you know, little bonuses in water levels, there are now. So, that's another challenge they added to this game. So, yeah, keep that in mind. Um... Wait, it's not right here. Yeah! <laughs> and that's a cool little, I guess you could say, semi-glitch that occurs. Yeah, anyway, you just want to jump into this barrel? And boom, there you go. 21 lives. Now, here's something I should warn you about real quick. When you save your game and quit, I believe you do keep your lives, but you lose all of your coins. So, um, whenever you decide to save and quit, do realize that you will be screwed over, more or less. Um, but don't worry, you can always come back to these first three levels here and you'll have no trouble at, at all, you know, getting more coins. So what I recommend is going through like the first level, grabbing all the ones there, and um, this Lockjaw's Locker is another one that's really good. It's not too hard to get through the level if you have uh, on guard, so that helps too. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and take a break here. Um, ah, that's right here. When I come back, we will tackle the rest of this area, because I'm pretty sure we'll be able to finish it. I will show you off what Mr. Sparklemouth there is, as well. <laughs> anyway, till then everyone, bye.